more comment um, about potential upcoming event from Jim Sable and the DuPont Railroad. Jim? Um, between the Fort Lewis and Puget Sound, uh, the DuPont Powder Company uh, had several thousand acres. Uh, the corporation itself produced uh, ammunition for every uh, American war except the Revolutionary War. Uh, the plant in uh, DuPont, Washington, right here up I-5, uh, produced a powder for uh, the Panama Canal, uh, the Alaska Highway, and God knows how many stump farms, Boeing stumps, my neighbors, and uh, everything you can think of, the mines in uh, Montana, and so on. Uh, DuPont, uh, as a plant, shut down, uh, I don't know what, 20 years ago, 30, whatever it was. And uh, some of the citizens there did uh, a really good job of saving a lot of stuff. Uh, the ladies uh, saved a good deal of stuff that appealed to, to women, uh, showing what life was like there. They saved a lot of the industrial stuff. To make a long story short, uh, a group started maybe uh, somewhere around 2000 or so uh, and managed to save two locomotives two flat cars that had to be rebuilt and one of these dynamite box cars, the railroad in the DuPont plant was all 36 inch gauge. Uh, these cars carried uh, cases of dynamite down to the ocean going wharf at the bottom of Sequalichu Creek, right down on Puget Sound between Silicon and Olympia. Um, the, uh, Robert and I came on somewhere around 2010, 2011, along with Russ Hegner and uh, Roger Knowlton and um, my wife, Mary, who uh, decked one of the plank cars uh, and uh, uh, put wood preservative on the new planks. And our uh, lead uh, foreman, uh, Fred Foreman, who works for the city of DuPont, a city engineer. Uh, our current project is to try to preserve one of these box cars. Uh, we've got one there. It's in tough shape. Uh, I did the mechanical drawings for, for it and the renovation of the flat car so that we could manufacture new parts that would be historically accurate because they're on the National Register of Historic Places and we can't cheat. Um, I just wanted to mention to you that uh, if you haven't seen that museum, there's both an indoor and an outdoor one. The indoor one is not just teacups and lace curtains although there's a lot of that, but there's also a lot of artifacts from the powder plant itself and how it was made and the tramway down to the wharf and all that kind of stuff. The roadbed's still there? Uh, the roadbed is there and it's a wonderful hiking trail down to the wharf. And there's a little bit of narrow gauge rail down on the seashore. Uh, it's one heck of a hike back up and it's humiliating also because I'm struggling to get back up the hill and I'm being passed by this guy shoving uh, one of those little strollers with three children in it. <laughs> and he's on a dead run. <laughs> uh, but it's fun to go down there and see what that was like. Uh, you can just turn off the DuPont exit, go past the store at the uh, exit there and go a quarter mile in the town. Uh, the museum is open certain hours most of the time. And uh, you can go look at the exhibit in the back. You can eyeball the locomotive and uh, uh, Don, Don, I'll look here. Yeah, here's Don and I and uh, Greg will try to put together a uh, gopher trip this uh, June. June 8th uh -huh. looks like the date. June 8th is the date. Got Yeah, and we'll try to have an outing there. Uh, we'll start indoors in the museum, uh, look at some slides of the equipment and the renovation process and all that stuff uh, and how the plant used to work. And then we can look at the outdoor exhibits. Uh, Fred will pull out the locomotive so we can climb all over it and in it and take pictures and look at the cars and all that stuff. Thank you. Yep. So you'll hear about that. Gophers is Greater Olympia Prototype, Prototype History and Engineering History Research and Society. Engineering and yeah, what Jim said. <laughs> and right. we've been we, going we changed out. We changed from gonads. Yes, we did. <laughs> we've great, been going out. <laughs> we've been going out and seeing prototype railroad things for a number of years uh, usually involved a saturday afternoon most of the time not with rain but every once in a while it rained 
and usually with a hot dog somehow associated with the yeah event. well i'll have the i'll have the grill there so look uh, forward Scott to that is the uh, gophers historian he knows all of the one how many now we 13 years or 12 jim young been started the very first one he says let's not meet indoors in june let's go out and drop around yep. i know that was yeah. in 07 07 and we missed a few because of covid but yeah oh and I have a list, but it's at home. Yeah, we've had we've had some. We've, we've done the Ballard Locks. We've done the paper plant in uh, the Pulp Mill in uh, Longview, and uh, we did the shops for uh, Tacoma Rail and uh, the uh, Sound Transit. Got underneath the cars in the pits.